so I went into town today and bought a few things for the pets so I thought I'd do another haul video for you so yeah let's go ahead and get started so the first thing I picked up is just a colourful ball pit so you guys are probably thinking what does a ball pit have to do with the pets but I'm actually going to be using this for a play pen so I went into B&M's and I saw this and I've been looking for something like this for ages but everywhere I look seems to be pretty expensive for what it is so I saw this and I picked it up straight away because it was super cheap so we currently have the Supreme Hamster for play pen but the hamsters can escape out of it and it's pretty old now I think it's about three or four years old so it is getting pretty tacky and things so I just wanted to give them a new play pen because Munchkin is always escaping from ours and because she's not tame it takes me about two hours to catch her so I thought that it was about time I upgraded them for a bigger and better play pen so this was supposed to be six pounds but I actually got it for four pounds because of its reduced to clear because obviously this is kind of like a toy which they had in the summer section and basically they're getting rid of all of their summer toys so I thought this would be brilliant for the pets and I've actually got this set up so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. So this is what the play pen looks like, it is super colourful and it is really big compared to our other play pen. So as you can see it has a base on the bottom of it meaning that the pets can't sort of like dig underneath the sides and escape and it also has this little extra bit on the top here to sort of stop them from escaping and also because of the material they can't really pull themselves up to escape anyway because of that won't support their weight which is another positive so I really really like this and for £4 I thought that it was a bargain because I've seen these in Argos and they are a little bit expensive so I thought I'd just get this and it's going to be brilliant for what I need it for so the dimensions are width 78 centimeters and depth 28 centimeters so it is a really nice big space for them so that is just the first thing that i bought so the next thing i picked up was from b m's and it is for remy so i just bought another one of these little heart shaped bowls so i bought quite a lot of these in a previous haul for the potties and Remy doesn't have one at the moment so I thought that I'd go ahead and buy him one so he just has the blue one with polka dots inside now I think this is actually supposed to be a cat dish but it's a brilliant size for the dwarf hamsters potties and also it'll be brilliant size for Remy so this was just 99p so then last of all from B&M's I just picked up two packets of their pet bedding because the hamsters seem to prefer this a lot more than what they do the Wilkinson's one which I'm currently using so I thought I'd just keep them on this because it is pretty cheap and they do really seem to like it. So the first one I bought is just the paper wool bedding so basically it's just long shredded strands of paper and then the other one is just the paper flakes so I thought this would be perfect for them and they were super cheap at 50p a packet so I thought I'd just go ahead and pick one up of each so I can mix them together because I don't like using this one on its own because it makes a ton of mess whereas if you mix this one in it as well it kind of clumps together so I just bought some of those so next moving on to what I bought from the 99p store the first thing I bought is just two dog toys so it's just these large bones and it has jump and the other one has catch written on it so the dogs have had these loads of times before and you can get them in different colours and each different colour has a different writing on it so I thought I'd go ahead and buy them some more because they do really really like these and these are a perfect size for our dogs so obviously these were 99p each so to go along with the bones I decided to buy the dogs a couple of other toys as well so I bought them these cute donut toys now I don't think these are going to last very long because our dogs are really big chewers but I thought that they would enjoy them and get a bit of a chew out of them and hopefully they'll last more than five minutes with them so I thought these were really cute and you can get them in different colours as well but I just got the yellow and pink ones so these were also 99p each so the next thing I picked up from the 99p store is a bag of the Pedigree Vital Dog Biscuit. Now this is actually going to be for Remy, not for the dogs, because of the dogs are fed on a different brand of food. But I know that you can mix dog biscuit and cat biscuit in with hamsters and also mice food. Um, and at the moment Remy's diet isn't really that great, so I want to try and improve that. So to try and improve his diet I'm going to mix um, some dog biscuit along with a few other things in his diet. So I thought that I'd just go ahead and buy a bag of this and see what he thinks of it and put a few little biscuits in his food. Um, so it's chicken flavour so I'm sure he'll really like that because he does like um, chicken. 
so I thought this would be really good for him and this was only 99p which I thought was super cheap because it is pedigree and pedigree is usually really expensive so this is just a 500 gram bag so the next thing I picked up from Poundland is this rope dog toy so this isn't for the dogs this is actually again for Remy so Remy needs quite a few more toys in his cage than what he has at the moment so I thought that I'd try and give him some more toys which he can climb on and basically um, make his cage more interesting for him so I saw this and I thought it would be perfect for him so it's basically just a rope dog toy which has been tied into place with this knot so this rope is super thick and I thought this would be brilliant for Remy because what I'm going to do is I'm going to unravel it and tie it to his cage and basically use it as a rope sort of ladder for him so he can go from A to B and he can climb over it and because of the material as well it also means that he can um, grip on this super easily so this was obviously a pound so next moving on to what I picked up from Pets Emporium so I only bought one thing and that is a packet of the Quico sesame peanut snacks so I've had these before for the pets and they absolutely love them and I thought I'd go ahead and buy them some more because of we've not had any in quite a while. So it's basically just a little nut covered in like a peanut shell and then it has sesame seeds on top. So these were £2.11 and you do get quite a lot in a packet as well. So next moving on to what I bought from Pets at Home. The first thing I picked up is for the gerbils and it is just the shooting star bird toy. So I've been wanting this for the gerbils for a while and I thought I'd just go ahead and pick it up. So it's just a wooden chew toy on a chain and then it has a bell at the bottom. So it's made with all um, pet safe dyes and things. So I thought I'd go ahead and buy this for them and I know it won't last that long but I thought it would be a nice little addition to their cage. So this was a little bit pricey at £3. And then last of all from Pets at Home I picked up another one of these woodland small grass houses. So this is going to be for the gerbils because they absolutely love these and they are super cheap and they're only 75p compared to other places where I've seen them for like 2 or £3. So I thought I'd go ahead and buy the gerbils another one because they destroyed the last one within a couple of days. So they chew this up and then add it all into the bedding which is a real great board and breaker for them because it does take them a long time to get through these so I really like these and I can honestly recommend them to any gerbil owner because the pets just absolutely adore these so if I didn't already mention these were only 75p so last of all moving on to what I got from Jollies so the first three things I picked up from Jollies were just some chew toys so Jollies have an offer on where you buy any three packets of the pet face chew toys you can get them for £5 instead of them being individually priced at £2 so I took up their offer because we do need a few different chew toys for the pets so the first chew toy I picked up was just the mini roller chew so I've wanted the large one of these for a while but I thought it was too big and it was more sort of rabbit and guinea pig size so I saw this and I thought it would be a perfect size for the gerbils and I know it won't last that long because of they are super big wood chewers but I thought it was really cute and it's also dyed with all pet safe dyes and things so I thought this would be a really nice chew toy for them so that's the first one we got and then I just bought two packets of these so they're like mini um, knobbly Noras so they're called carrot Noras so you get a red one and a orange one and I thought these were a really good size and they're super cute as well so I just picked up two packets of those so the last thing I picked up was just a bag of the Burgess Super Hamster Dwarf Hamster Harvest. So I'm going through this really quickly at the moment because I have five hamsters who are all fed on this and they absolutely love it. So I bought another bag because I've just filled up their box with the spare bag which we had. So I thought that I'd best get another bag in because I'm probably going to need this before the end of the month and I don't know when I'm next going down to Jolly's. So I just picked that up and that was £3. So the next two things I picked up were just basic essential things which I needed for the pets. So the first thing I picked up was another bag of Megazorb and that was from a local farm supplier called Lee Feeds. So that was only £7 for a massive bag which I thought was a really really good price for that. And then also I just picked up a packet of the Argos Children's Playsand. So it's a 15kg bag and that was £3. 
So here is just a quick overview of everything which I bought for the pets. So as always, thank you so much for the support, guys. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Or you might actually be better contacting me through Facebook because I'm not really on YouTube that much at the moment. So if you have a question which you want answering pretty quickly, um, my link for my Facebook is in the description. And I also have a email address as well if you guys want to email me rather than commenting because you'll get a reply a lot quicker than what you will on YouTube because I can't log into YouTube on my phone. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Bye!